Okay, so something I believe every single VRChat creator should know about, but a surprising amount don't know about, is that you can actually share your Udon Graph code via text. To show this, I'm going to come up to my Udon Graph. And something you probably already know about is that you can grab a bunch of code, you can go Control C, Control V, and it pastes it up here. Also, if I was to copy this, I was to come down here and create a new Udon Graph, we can come in here and we can go Control V, and we can see it pastes it in. It also created all the variables we needed with the same settings they had before. However, the way this works is that it actually saves it as text. What I can do here is I can go Control C here. I can come over to my newly created Discord channel, which I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to join. And I can come into the message and I can paste in a string of text that people can use. And then when they're on their end, they can just copy it. I'll copy this one I saved earlier. They can come into their scene. They can click on the graph and go Control V to paste in a bunch of code. And once again, it keeps all the variables that is needed for this bit of code. And this is super useful. Some immediate examples are if I'm in a YouTube comment section, I want to share a bit of code because I can't share files easily in a YouTube comment section. Doing it this way is really convenient. Another example is if I'm talking to someone on Discord and I don't really want to be sharing links because even though I haven't seen anything malicious, it's still a possibility. Doing this is a really secure way of doing that as far as I'm aware. However, it does have one or two downsides. If I was to grab a bit of code and I was to create a group and then I was to try and copy that code across, we can see that it didn't remember the group. Another thing is that any comments you make will not be copied across. As we can see, it didn't even grab it. However, even if those limitations, I believe this is still really, really useful to know about. So, hopefully you found this helpful and useful to know about. Feel free to leave a like if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions, and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials that I have on the channel. But until next time, bye!